Hi, it's Nave back again with this shit. Last week there wasn't a video because I didn't play it. My opponent had life stuff and had to forfeit. But just to do a brief overview of the team, I was going to bring not two in death because I didn't play it, but like it was in Cinemar, Rillaboom, not in Cinemar. In Cinemar, Raging Bolt, Sinister Dragonite, and the plan was I use Hypno, I toxic the Raging Bolt to stop it from doing a calm mind or just to take it down eventually. I would be able to also do that to the Sinistra and the Incinera and the whatever, just eventually chip it down with Mental Phonicus, Mental Herb, and Inner Focus. I'd be immune to whatever they wanted to do on the first turn without needing Serena. And then I could reset Trip Room with my bulk if they led Bronze on Mamoswine. And then Moltres would be here. You know what, the same thing, this nasty plot, Terra Fairy. And then, like, once the Renewal was poisoned, I would switch out Rillaboom for, for Pepperina here. And like, and then I would be, I would wall Thundercloud Dragon Pulse if they brought it. And even if they didn't, uh, I would, that would be solid. That would be solid enough. I would have Triple Axel for the Dragonite. I didn't bring a Grass move, which is funny. At High Jump Kick for the Incineroar and all that. Uh, what else? Rillaboom with standard stuff at Rillaboom. Uh, the Hoodra was for the Raging Bolt too. The, the goal was... Oh, I'll just do Life Orb, Life Orb, Draco killed it. If the Terra's Fairies, Flash Cannon killed it, Body Water at the Incineroar. It wasn't that good because it was still slower than the Incineroar and the Raging Bolt. Like, even at base, even if I speed invested up that backfire, that would really suck. And then Lycanroc was Lycanroc. Lycanroc could accel a rock, like Dragonites and whatever. The anti priority, the their priority. A Terra Ground Drill Run could, Helping Hand could get the Incineroar. Let's get to Sinistra. And that was it. I wanted to bring Tox Hit Hypno eventually. It was going to be Poison Gas, but because it was Basket Legion uh, and Incineroar. I mean, because Basket Legion's weak to Raging Bolt and Incineroar came, I couldn't do Hex stuff. I wanted to bring Basket Legion Hex, and I couldn't. But after that week ended, after I got the forfeit, I made some trades. Let's, let's move this over here. I made some trades. We. So the end of the trade deal line is week four, which kind of sucks because the trades I made here, I kind of wouldn't have wanted all of these for this week except for the Registeel. But so I made it to address what I thought were the team problems. I traded Moltres for Latios, Registeel, Red Gudra for Registeel, Lycanroc for Crocodile. I view the Latios and Registeel trades as like splitting the traits I wanted out of the Hoodra. For Hoodra, I wanted Iron Press and I wanted a versatile special attacker. And now I have Super Iron Press and Super super special attacker because I and I needed more immediate damage Lydos provides the immediate damage and also has speed which is good I have more speed and Ready Steel does have a better typing I'll stick this is my hot take Steel Dragon is all horrible typing like if we go down here like you've got a lot of resistances yet but like what they see is they see a steel that can that neutral to fairy they see a dragon that's neutral to fire and then, like, fighting and ground are the normal steel weaknesses. But, uh, like, water is the only really good resistance you get. And one forest to bring us isn't that good. I don't, I don't like steel grass as a typing at all. Oh, and it's also a steel that is neutral to dragon, which is also great. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I'm sad to see Hoodra go, but I don't think I can sustain it. Uh, Ready Steel has worse typing and worse... I mean, has better typing. I just argued that it has a good typing. Has better defensive stats, it's a better iron presser at the cost of not having a versatile ability pool or good stats. It still has perfect coverage with body press and shadow claw. It like it should be helpful. Like I clear body, whatever, I can like curse, I can curse up if I ever wanted to. Um what happened was that like ideally I wanted to replace this Lycan Rock with a Reggie Rock, because it's even better at iron pressing. It can also hit the fire types that I'm afraid of. But, like, there's just not many good A tiers left. There was Free Marina, and I have two waters already. Um, Back Caliber, Garchomp, and Reggie Drago are all dragons, but they're not fast enough. I'm not running Metagross and Latios together and with Steel, even though Metagross could do the same versatility stuff. I don't want two Psychics that don't cover each other's weaknesses at all. And I, a Brokerona could have been good, but I'm not playing around random rock move killing it every week. And I could have, like, traded the three for a same team of Tyranitar, Extra Drill, and Houndstone. Or, like, I wouldn't have traded, I would have played Basket Wind for Houndstone here. But I'll be, I'll be damned if I ever play Weather and Draft. I'm not, I'm not having random Sunny Day scare me every week. 
Crocodile over Lycanroc might be a mistake. I want to intimidate the help my own setup, then I need a dark type to replace Goltrith for a psychic fighting dark core. And I don't need Lycanroc's fire killing prowess when I have Latios. I can just like Draco it or Luster Purge it and I actually resist fire. Uh, this could totally end up being a mistake though. I, I like, I could have two fast attackers. I'm losing Accelerop priority. I think Crocodile is, is fine. The, it might be kind of scarf locked, but that's okay. I will miss Goltrez. I think I have the salient weakness now of bad spread damage, and spread damage doesn't really have. Lighters doesn't have a spread move, Ready Steel doesn't have a spread move, Rolling doesn't have a spread move, so my options for spread moves are like Bascule Legion, Bunny Water, or like Earthquake next to the Latios now. And I have Grassy Terrains, and I'm not even that good. But uh, I just hate my build. I Once I didn't have Conte, I started hating my build. Like, not even just that I thought it was worse, but it's just not fun. Like, it's just not fun to have set up Pokemon and no good ways to make them set up. Or, like, when you're super dedicated set up, eating set up becomes super easy. If you just, like, have Haze or just, like, have a fat or, like, have Prankster Taunt, like, it's just so much. So much bit. Like, Audios doesn't even get terrain recovery. It has six weaknesses. And, like, Ready Steel again can only Iron Press. Oh, God, this, I guess who also has sick weaknesses and like pretty middling bulk. Or like they're all salient new weaknesses and I'm just gonna have to accept like I'm just not happy with my draft and I'm still kind of unhappy with it, but I do think this is better. Um, so, to get into this week, the actual game we're playing, much, let's now we get to adjust it again, much less scary than last week, I think. Uh, well, two weeks ago, I should say. I, I, I under prepped last week, I under thought last week, um, so this is, this should be a little easier, I'm pretty confident of this one, like, I was really worried about, like, Sludge Bomb Iron Moss, but it doesn't even have that, so that's silly, nothing, like, nothing that they have running their best set, like, running this, like, the set you drafted it for, uh, scares me, like, you know, like, Ogre Pond, you draft Ogre Pond and you go, oh, Ivy Cudgel Horn Leads, follow me, Spiky Shield, that's great. That doesn't scare me, and the same thing with Dragapult really doesn't scare me. That's all good, like, so, like, you know, all that scares me is, like, goofy Terra Blast stuff or status moves. They just don't have really good ways to break Ready Steel if I Terra hit the fighting. Like, Psyblade is a physical move, so that shouldn't matter, and Orgon 2 doesn't have much reason to run Psychic. So I get the damage boost, and I get all that. So, this team is Ready Steel Sentry. And I feel like I can just lead Rillaboom Registeel always and be fine. Like, they have two... My fake out is should be as fast as the Hitmontops. And while it's, it speed ties with the Toxicroak, like... It should be really afraid of Latio. Rillaboom's the standard set. Terra Poison just because I want to be neutral to fire and not weak to grass. This could maybe it should just be Terra Fairy, but I don't know. Just do that. Like, the, the Terra is weird. I could pick a better one. I, don't, I couldn't pick a better one. Like, what would the better one be? Because it would have to be like, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't have resistances I want. It would have to be like paranormal, if anything, to, to like be immune to it. Yeah. So, this is another time when I'm mad at. You're living with four move slot syndrome. I go, ah, oh, four moves. I can only fit four. Uh, these two are obvious. What hammer kills Ogre Pond with that intimidate? High horsepower always gets the moss, and then I'm like, I want to turn and knock off to hit Dragapult or have the wrong side. Even though they have a pin curtain, they head still just too good if I lose it. So, uh, grassy glide again. I don't like grassy glide. I, I really did want to run like scarf knockoff initially, but that doesn't like get Dragapult and doesn't even come close. And I could run like coaching's newsletter. I don't want to really. Uh, Especially if Hitmontop comes, like, and then, like, it could. Like, what if they just don't bring Hitmontop? See, oh. Oh, Rillaboom's here, that's scary. Oh, they bring a game two, fake it out, ruin my stuff. I'm like, kill it, like, I don't like it. Yep. Ready Steel. It's Ready Steel. Uh, this is the bulk. It's going to Iron Defense, Body Press, Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam is, does more damage than Shadow Claw. The only downside is, like, if the Ogre Pond follow me, Shadow Claw will be doing. Less, no, no, that's what it was. Uh, it doesn't matter because even a resisted heavy slam at 180, I'd stab face essentially 180. We'll be doing 90 and shadow kill was a 70, so there's just no reason I would a four time to steal resist. And then terra fighting is like legitimately the best coverage I could 
like legitimately the best defensive type for it. Like Iron Weeds, Sideblade, as I said before, and then like Porygon too, but like they just hit it for neutral and then I'm so bulked up and and, and neutral to the like Iron Moth, their only really scary special attacker. Like it's it's so great. Uh, the only fairy move they have is like Dazzling Queen from Iron Moss, which doesn't, which like does look kind of good into me. I did, I did only think of that late and could have considered it more. But like it hits Crocodile, it hits uh, Latios, and that's kind of it. But like you need something to hit Latios when you don't have to poison with like Energy Ball. I mean, you've got Shadow Ball, but yeah. But yeah, I hope I don't get screwed by that and then like play rough on Ogre Pond. I think the Ogre Pond will probably run Ivy. But yeah. To be easy. Latios is kind of a dead slot. Like, it takes too much from everything. Like, 80, 80. Surprisingly pretty weak. So I have it at, I have it at this max HP. This lives a Sucker Punch from, like, a Bishar with no boosts. Or, like, Terra. And this investment is enough to two-shot any doesn't get anything. It's, it's speed ties with both the Ogre Pond and the Iron Moth. And that's annoying. If it doesn't come down to a speed tie. The Terra Fairy, because Terra Fairy make you immune to Dragon. And I can hit the body, the Iron Moth, even if it's Terra Poison Blast. Uh, it just depends on bringing it on, like, a game two. I have to I have to scout if the, like, the Moth is booster speed, or if the leaves is Scarf, or if there's any, like, scary Scarf or is. And that, like, bringing it in a game one seems pretty unlikely to me. Uh, Caesar doesn't have much. I uh, can't hit, like, Caesar is just a scary thing to bring, and it does, it does hit Ogre Pond. Well, it does hit everything but Iron Moth pretty well. Um, but I don't, I'm not really into it. It doesn't have Protect because Fake Out in the back is better. I don't even think, like, maybe you could have Rock Slide against, for, like, the Fletchinder. Like, I Fake Out and then Rock Slide, but, like, it's weird. I'm not that scared of him. that scared of Tailwind, and I don't know, we'll see if it comes. Basket Legion. This speed with Scarf always outspeeds the uh, max speed drive pulp I wanted to. Fair Fairy to put if I ever wanted to. This should be good. In endgame, if it's not booster speed moth, the orb for speed. I'll just be able to. A laugh just by over and over again. Game. They'll probably bring it anyway, because Aqua Jet onto either. Really great. And lastly, uh, Rabombi. Rabombi is unfortunately one point lower, like Adamant. Back pulled it's 194, and this is 193, so I can't force it to be jolly. But Moonblast gets Dragapult. Uh, Moonblast gets Dragapult, so I stub that again. Pollen Puff gets the Iron Leaves and the Ogre Pond, and also heals the Red Steel, and Psycho uses the Soil. This should be, this is really great in that. Any, like any stragglers is left off, it lets me determine the Dragapult speed really easily and tank anything as long as nothing is great. So, that's it. Uh, what am I scared of? I'm scared of Wisp on the Dragapult a lot more so than I am of like Bandit, Terra Blast, Ghost, or Dragon Dance set. Like Wisp, the Ready Rock, that sucks. Like, I lead this and they bring Dragapult and Mother Ground, you have a great protects, and then they Wisp, the Ready Rock, the Ready Steel. The next turn was the roll and I'm kind of crippled and I can't. And I do like 10 to it with a heavy slam, that sucks. Uh, the same thing is true of like, a, what if Pink Kirchen has Scald on Scald? Like, a Pink Kirchen and Moth are really pretty strong. And if they get that, like, if I fake out something and they get that Scald, really. I mean, and then. Mm -hmm. The Moth then is just hard to determine. Most Meteor Beam. Or, like, what? Yeah. The Moss set is really hard to determine. Both Meteor Beam and, like, Boost to Speed Life Orb are really strong. Um, and, like, as the Terra is annoying, Terra Dark Blast, Terra Poison Blast, Blast. That set is the hardest part to determine. If I figure that out, and it's not like Terra Ghost or Perfect Cloak, I should be good. What fake adder they bring, if they even choose to bring any between Hit on top and Toxicroak, is annoying. I'm like, 
I'm not worried about Trick Room at all because we're descale at speed, it's our whole team. And their best Trick Room Super is Bisharp, which I body press. But like, if I get caught off guard by like an inner focus Bisharp and a Paragos Porygon or something, that, that could suck. Like, like getting blasted over and over by but like a special attack in Porygon could be annoying. And like, the funny setup of the week that could me is Focus Energy over Pond. Like, they don't really have a good way to like protect the setup. But they could tear a water and get like the 75 or 100 percent and then get the Reggie Steel. But I think I just I just would hammer the girl up in as long as it's not well they would need him on top over to do that, because uh, then that wouldn't kill would hammer wouldn't kill almost the yeah. But Yeah. Here's to the game. Let's hope we can get another fuck oh. this time. Fuck why. Alright, we we had a lot of like Difficulties getting the room online, like the server, the, the server was down, so we're playing roughly Chinese style. Let's all about my friends. So we do see two things: we see this, these two, and we see Gly score. So we're gonna bring these. We'll start. Timer's fine with me. Uh, this is easy. So like, they are bringing Trick Room, which is interesting. Hmm. And I don't know what I really want next. Like, this is fine. I think we bring, we, we'll bring these two, I guess. And now I think we bring Ladia, we bring Ladia's. Bring Ladia's and then we'll bring you. Right, because what do you do? We'll bring these, we won't bring Ribombi this time. All right, I forgot to turn these off. We're just gonna fake out. An iron defense. Let's open. Let's open Porygon 2's move set real quick. Damn one is whatever. Sure. Covert Cloak Lyscar is real funny. I like that. We're just gonna wood hammer and we're gonna iron defense again. But like, I think they see they know bot they know iron press is coming, I guess, so like they're going to. No, that's surprising. Yep. Fr we freeze! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> that's aggravating. That would hammer would have done quite a bit. We just bought, like, yeah. Good. And now we Aura Spear you. Starts, double up. Low kick doesn't do anything. That gets it. Let me just heavy slam. Let me ice beam again. They, like they they haven't used Terry yet, but we're pretty dead. I'm pretty dedicated to this and like Yep. That's fine. Last respects gets the glyce. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Last yeah. respects. Last respects. Last respects is stronger. The yeah, wave crash kills, body press kills. I don't think there's anything that get that really gets by us. Good on him for. Yeah. All right, so that was that was an unfortunate game one. For me with the freeze, so like. We won, and we won pretty handily, and we got axed, so pretty great. Sorry. Okay, so we're just gonna do lead, lead the same thing. We're like... They haven't shown me a reason to switch. So... Uh, this, is, this is a draft philosophy thing I'm thinking of. We're like... Why should I... When, when you win a draft game, I think...
the, the philosophy is you have to address to me and I don't have to address to you. You some Paris deal pole. Yep. You good. We're just gonna we're gonna fake you out and then we're gonna iron defense and see what like we're gonna like scout for a pair. Of. the Terra fly or something here, right? No? Good. Now what could be in the back that's trouble? Like, burning Terra... Having to burn Terra for that is annoying. This Dragapult doesn't have Wisp, and it doesn't have a Ghost Moon. Does nothing, does nothing. Oh wait, how, how much did that do? That did 28, so we do have to glide here. Like, if they protect here, whatever. This just went. Right? Where horn wins? Okay, that is that doesn't win. But it, no, I'm still. I just have to not get Oka by the dragon, and that's it. I just have to luster purge and iron. Luster purge you and iron slime, heavy slime here. Like just don't get like, don't die in one hit the dragon darts and don't get crit. So that's a 26. Yep. Good. Good for me. I'm glad the new the new recruits got to do something. 